Hi, I'm back and glad to see you in a traveling video in a while. I went on my first fall trip to Samsung Palace in Chang'e Village, where a spot is said to be auspicious and imaginary blue cranes reported to have lived. Ready for the mystical trip? Looking for spirits of our forefathers? We go through this gate to get to Chang'e Village, then travel more about 5 minutes by car. Before entering, I decided to have lunch. Earthen houses caught my eyes. Red clay houses are so pretty. The pavilion with two roofs is unique and cute. I ordered a wild vegetable bimbap and a vegetable pancake. The wild vegetables were fragrant, seasoned, stir fry and pancake with lots of veggies. So cute clay hot. I'll surely build this hot someday. This must be a traditional school offering traditional education and I feel proud of them keeping tradition. I bought an admission ticket at 7,001 or 7 dollars and it seemed too expensive. It didn't seem big enough when seen from the entrance. I thought the building with roof of a blue crane was the palace but misunderstood. The waterfall looks cool, and I can see this palace was built on an ideal spot. I was getting interested when I saw carved stones with unique flying objects. From here, stone gates begin to appear. I like the horse carved out of a big stone. The sculpture of a crane with a marble in its beak is so delicate and doesn't look common. Expecting to see something more interesting, I follow the sign. The sign for Samsung Palace meant the blue crane building was not a palace. In fact, the blue building was a museum. Entering the gate of the rabbit god, I felt as if I had entered the mysterious world. This is the pavilion for crimes. Entering, a kind of crime was carved in a stone. A clear blue dragon was carved in two. Enter the gate of the snake god. Enter the gate of the horse god. Looking up at the ceiling, the figures showing the way of ancient people's life were drawn. At the beginnings, humans, gods, and nature are said to have coexisted. These stone steps were carved out of a whole rock. Now, stone walls built to high begin to appear. This is the gate of the ship God. This time, a figure of the air made of bronze is standing heroically. Till then, I just expected to see just stone walls for a while. But it was strange to see boats in the middle of the hill. My mouth was wide open at the sight of a beautiful jade green pond spreading out before my eyes. The rocks standing high in a row around the pond make exotic sense, and jade green water looks mystical. 
I was so fascinated by the beautiful scenery that I took many videos lately enjoying happy moments. This is the shrine to Malgo, the progenitor of the humans, and Samsung Palace is where shrines to our three founders of Korea are located. There are more than 1,500 stone towers, which Sansa Hampo has built himself for over 40 years, with only help of some of his students. He plans to build 3,333 towers in total to restore the ancient Sodo, so he is still working on it. He brought some water from Chanji Lake up back to mountain and combined it. It's unbelievable for an individual to have built this huge park. In fact, this is the largest private part in the world. He is aiming at educating, practicing, and realizing Hongi Ingan Iwasege, which is the ancient Korea's national spirit, meaning benefiting all human beings and governing the world based on the reasons of nature. I feel as if I were at the Chanji Lake in Baekdu Maung, where our ancestors are believed to have come from. This is Hamshingung, whose roof is made of wood shingles, where people offer prayers to the grandmother god who governs childbirth. Mystic upon is looked down from the Mago Song. Now I go long Kambal path. Beautiful wide open space is seen. This must be a part of space where many people gather to perform a ceremony. There are many open cells on the long stone walls, and a stone face sculpture is displayed in its cell. How could he pile up such many stone towers that run endlessly? This is Mago Song that is looked down from the top. I thought this was all, but a sign leading to Samsung Palace appeared. I'm already tired, but I keep going sweating as I shouldn't skip it. A new building is being built and I'm curious about what their completed palace will be like. This wooden building looks old. This is a wajong where Sun Sahampo teaches his students Shinsan Do, consisting of Taoism, martial arts, sword dances, and extra. How can I be his student? The stone stop with carved figures are so beautiful. This is a masterpiece, and the artist can be called Michelangelo from the Orient. Right sides of the steps are in the air. And a lot of millstones were used for sculptures. At last, I can see Samsung Palace shrines for the three legendary founders of Korea. They are Huanin, Huanung, and Tanggun. Our nation's founding principal, Hongik Ingan Iwasege. Sacred stone staff with clearly carved flowers and dragons. Various beautiful patterns on a wooden door.
is still working on to make over a thousand stone towers to make 3,333 towers in total and I can't wait to see his completed part. On the way down, I saw a man in white traditional clothes touching stone walls, and he must still have been piling stones that day too. In the fast-changing world, Sun Sahampu has been devoting his whole life to keeping our precious history and passing it on to our next generations. I admire him. Thanks for watching. Please keep watching next traveling video too. Please subscribe, like, and share.